Yeah, they break their hands a lot, don't they? Yes. Because they, they use modern boxing mm -hmm. in BKB, Yeah. Uh, but it's not designed for that. All the punches changed when the gloves came in. People used to punch like this. For 50 years after the, after the gloves came in, gloves came in 1867, Queensbury rules, and then people still used to punch like this until about 1910. Then somebody found that if you screw it after you make contact, you can get cuts, mm. like in the old system. Okay. The trouble with the gloves is you, you can't mark the face. So the, the old system is good because you can split the eye, make the eye swell up to, to stop them seeing, break the nose so the blood goes in their breathing, split the lips so it's very painful to get blood, so they're handicapped. And then, then you get a chance to, to put your strong move in. But when the gloves came in, the face was clear. You couldn't get any damage. So somebody found about 1910 that if you pivot it after the hit, as you're hitting, then you can get the cuts again. So um, that's where the twist punch comes from. There's, there was no other reason for it apart from that. That's all the only reason for it. But of course, by about 1950, nobody remembered that anymore. Mm. Nobody knew why. And now you, you get many people all the time talking about, you must turn over the punch. You turn it over, and then you get more snap. You get more range, somehow, I don't know how that is. You get more power. <laughs> no, there's no difference. I coached people for many years with this way in kickboxing and then when we decided to change to suit local conditions we changed this way of punching mm -hmm. and there's no difference in the power we've got the same number of knockouts on a pavement or in a ring to make any difference so um, and um, when you try this way of punching you you'll find that there's a lot of advantages um, to it for example if you're going to jab and left hook, you see the elbows down, and then you can come up with the left hook into it, so you get more power. So you hear your elbows down, protecting the body. Yep. Um, it's you don't. The other guy doesn't get to see much. You don't see all of that. Yep. You, you, it's coming straight, oh, it's straight in there. Yeah. So um, it also goes through a guard better. If you, mm -hmm. Get vertical fist. Um, oh, there's just tons of advantages. It's, it's way harder, something like ten times harder to break the hand with this way. So we went back to the old English way of doing it, yep. which is designed to help you preserve your hands. Do your move. Yeah. You don't let them stumble back mm -hmm. and you just stand there you don't do that you do your move and then you want to be there all right so there was some um, first try tie hip up what you want to pinch uh, which up if you can get to the side okay if you can get to the side this is a superior position it's called uh, t, t position Another a T position is here. Again, can you see T position? Okay. So these are called T positions, and they're quite strong if you can get to them. This one is 50-50. You're equally strong with the other. Yeah. But if you're faster, then you can get a good position with T. If you come um, here, this way, you'll then place the right leg behind 